Hey guys, welcome to my messy shop. Um, <laughs> I, this is a fire up procedure on how to fire up a used oil stove. Now, this one here is built with a barrel kit and you use the barrel kit on any tank. You can actually make any adapter for these flanges because this is the door for the barrel stove kit. Put oil in it and burn. So the insides of the oil stove uh, has two pipes. One of them is high velocity, that's the smaller one, and the other one is high volume. And inside the high volume pipe, which is the inch and a quarter pipe, let me get that in here, inside the inch and a quarter, so this is inch and a quarter and then one inch, and this is three quarter. So inside of this one is a tube that goes down and it's three, three eighths inch copper. Now I'm in the process of manufacturing a fitting a manufacturing a complete unit that all goes into one little compact unit that you just feed air into and put your own tube in and your own pipe so i'm working on that because i've actually been building a lot of these and a lot of requests for them uh this is a 20 gauge hello thor <laughs> this is a 20 gauge uh, pan a 8 inch uh, stainless steel pan that's 20 gauge so it's pretty heavy and I use that because it assists in my flash fire uh, causing the flames to go up and makes it burn a lot cleaner so you can see in there this is about probably 18 to 20 hours of burning that's all the residue that's left in it right there all right so not too bad and then I have a big cast iron uh, 14 inches I put in the bottom and that's just for safety and if there's any burn through of the of the stainless um, What will happen is it'll just go to the cast iron the flame will change it makes a lot louder noise And then I'll know to change it out and then I buy these these are just dog bowls from the local uh, D&B tractor supply Menards that you can get for about six bucks so uh, here the stove is for fire up and I will be showing you here the oil, pardon all the mess, it comes through that filter that I made from a quart mason jar filled with uh, a stainless steel mesh. It is a, a 40, 32, and 24 gauge wire mesh that's inside that and it catches any debris that might come out of your waste oil. Uh, comes down the line, um, has a timer for shut off. So now here's, here's the fire up procedure. Um, I take a little bit of wood shaving, not much, just a pinch. I will put that in the bottom right where the air comes in at. So you'll see that right there. Now that is like a wick for what I'm doing next. Now over here we have the lighter fluid uh, that is mixed with a little bit of diesel. It's about 30% diesel so it has a longer burn time. And it's in this and it goes to this valve here this admittance valve and it's also used and I'll turn it on and you'll see it drain down so it'll come down in there you see it coming out the bottom down there little puddle it's getting black there and shiny then what I'll do is I will add a little slug of oil from up top right there that's cranking this valve here and it's a ball valve, so just a little slug of oil will come down. Okay, and what I'll do after that is I'll just take my torch, and I'll just take my torch, and I'll light this, and then turn the blower on. So, using a map gas torch, just reaching in, and you see it flames up. Now, the next stage, and I'll, I don't think I've ever done this for anybody to see it, is flipping on the blower. So the blower will come on, and you can see that fire will start slowly gaining. And then what I'll do is watch it. If it needs additional fluid from this valve, I will kick it on. And you'll see that fluid when it hits. There it goes. And then we're going to adjust this valve just to get the flow up to about the thickness of a mechanical pencil let. Okay, 
and if it's a little bit too much you're going to dump in a little more starter fluid which you'll see that get thick and then it'll shut off and then the oil will start again and then there is my stove my oil burner lit up and as you can see in there there's no smoke and this thing here will run on about um it uses roughly about a quart a little less than a quart to a quart an hour uh, if I'm running it real hot, it'll run a little over a quart. If I'm running it low, pint and a half tops is what it'll run on. Now, this set up here. This setup uses one of these, an inline bilge pump blower, if you can see that. And just one of these to feed the air to it. And the process the air comes through this this two inch conduit it's got a fern cove no hub clamp no hub clamp on it goes into an inch and a half hose that goes to an inch and a quarter pipe and straight through so that is your setup for fire up and as you can see here it burns pretty hot and anytime the flame gets a little lazy I can add a little slug of the other fluid there you go other fluid to it and it also helps by adding the diesel directly to it it'll actually help clean the pan but as you can see burns pretty damn hot and we close the door and we have the little vents allowing a little extra air because of the draw uh, to go out through the barrel stove adapter up the pipe and then out an insulated pipe out the ceiling and Other than startup. There's no smoke. This burns very clean. Uh, you do want to keep anything that's plastic or fuel related Away from this because it gets to about 850 degrees on the outer wall So it does get very hot and for that reason I have 12 volt fans that run and blow air across it and they run off of this switch immediately and they blow air on the walls and it sends the heat out into the shop all right so hope that helps that's the startup of a barrel stove slash oil burner and you can actually make this out of a barrel and i will probably do one of them to show people how they can make their own it's very easy this is under 200 dollars to build complete and it will run off grid because that's what this one does so uh, i don't believe anybody's seen the full startup of this unit and how easy it is to make your own and it heats a 4200 square foot building it's very very efficient i hope that helps y'all out